You're watching howtoplayanysong.com. My name is Joe Wiles with the Rock and Roll Conservatory. And in this video, we're going to take a look at Rage Against the Machines, Killing in the Name. Now, what's cool about Rage Against the Machine is they formed in 1991, and not even almost a year later, they were already signed and had mainstream success with this song. This is one of their quintessential riffs, and we're going to learn the introduction as well as the verse riff that Tom Morello uses. And let's get started. All right, for the intro to Killing in the Name, we're going to drop our low E string down to a D note. You just hit your low E, and then you'll hit your D, and then you just twist your low E until they match. Sounds like this. Now you're drop D tuning, where your low E string is now a D note, an octave lower than this D note here. All right, the first four chords of Killing in the Name, well, they're the same thing. Put your index finger on the second fret of the B string here excuse me, the G string here, and put your middle finger on the third fret of the B right there. We're going to strum the lowest five strings from here to the B string. That's our first chord. And you'll just do it four times in a row like this. Now there's a little interlude there with drums and bass, and then the guitar riff comes in, you'll hit the low D string three times. Now you'll go to the 11th fret of the, D, of the, the middle D string, I guess. 11, then the 12th of the same string. Then go to the 11th fret of the G, then the 12th fret of the G. So you'll hit that three times. repeat this riff three times and then the last time the fourth time we'll start it off the same but the last note we're gonna go to the 12th fret of the G and bend it like that so all together it sounds like this And then we'll do that a couple times. And right before we transition into the main part of this song, we'll hit the low two strings three times. Then we'll hit a two finger power chord on the sixth fret of the A string and the eighth fret of the D. And we'll do that uh, three times in a row. And then we'll follow it with Three more of these, and then just the eighth fret of the G, right there. And then we go to the rest of the song. Uh, let's play that slowly, kind of all together, bit by bit. There's three sections here that we're going to work on, so we'll do each one slowly. Sounds like this. This is the first chord, and you'll strum it four times. And this is the next riff. And then this riff. And that's the intro. Now, the metronome's going, we're gonna play this to speed, but the introduction, the first four chords, they don't really have a tempo, but we'll play them to tempo anyway. They sound like this. One, two, three, four. And then the next riff sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And the last riff sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And 
and that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video and make sure you check out howtoplayanysong.com to see the rest of this tutorial and to request any song that you want to learn. I'll see you there.